Okay guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to fix a very unique problem on a very cool game called Super Meat Boy. I've had the game for about two years now. Um, it's actually two-dimensional, it's a flash-based game, um, but the problem that I've recently come across, and I know that it's a actually widely known problem, because uh, I googled it and other people did have this problem also, is because I just added a second graphics card to my system. Um, I have a pair of Asus Radeon HD 7770s, 2 gigs apiece, uh, 4 gigs total, uh, 2 GPUs altogether, and they are crossfired. Uh, when you run the game, originally, if you are running it uh, and it's not windowed, what's going to happen is um, the game is going to be running really fast, so fast, in fact, that it's going to be choppy. Um, Meat Boy will look like he actually wants to explode standing in place. So what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to go ahead and run the game in windowed mode, guys. That's it. Um, you don't have to lower the resolution. Um, the only drawback to it is that when you're running the game, you're going to see your taskbar, your Windows taskbar, whether it be on XP, Vista 7 or 8. Um, that is unfortunately something that you can't get around. Um, but as I will be showing you in the clips here on the screen on the overlay, um, I'm going to be showing you clips of what the uh, game looks like with the Crossfire profile running and without the Crossfire profile running. Um, because there is a, a very huge and significant difference and um, you know ATI Radeon they did a phenomenal job uh, with the Crossfire technology you know I'm running Borderlands 2 Crisis 3 at um, the frame rates that are exponentially higher than what I used to with just one graphics card and you know Asus Radeon just with the one was already great um, but for a flash based game like Super Meat Boy um, ladies and gentlemen it's not um, as necessary that game can actually run without a graphics card you know with onboard um, graphics it'll run so let alone with two graphics cards with so much power it's actually too much I measured it with fraps and it was measured at um, 120 to 121 uh, frame rates per second which basically means that the game was on overdrive guys okay it's like uh, if you're playing crisis 3 for example let's say you're driving a fast car and then you upgrade to a faster car uh, this would be like if you get into a Ferrari and then put a rocket engine on it it would just as soon as you turn that engine on it's just gonna tear the car right out of its own frame that's pretty much the best metaphor that I can come up with guys so like I said I'm gonna put the instructions in the uh, description below also um, follow the steps here you'll see that I'm doing in the um, I've done them in the overlink guys but like I said um, this game you can do it um, it's best played with an Xbox 360 controller um, and like I said a great game guys if you have any questions or the solution that I have told you does not work Go ahead and let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much.